Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Space Wreck, where we pick things up again with charming space captain Betty Cupboard, who last time dodged some robots, she broke quite a lot of computers, and then she nearly asphyxiated herself to death in the cold, unforgiving vacuum of space. But you know what, she's okay now, she's all fine, she's recovered from that very traumatic event, and now we're ready to go down that ladder to see what we can find. I think really our main goal at the moment has to be to get to the promenade of the station we're on, which I'm going to guess is over here. I think it's got to be in the middle and that would be quite impressive for a promenade wouldn't it a great big kind of lovely dome thing you can walk around the promenade do your shopping and then look up and look through the dome and see out into space so I imagine that's where the promenade is over there however we haven't been able to get there just yet because we have been blocked by quite a lot of robots and a lot of very poor hacking efforts that hasn't really helped us either so I think these robots here they are permanently against us, so they will shoot us if we get too close. And also, there is one over here somewhere. That one, I think, is doing a bit of a sort of patrol route type thing. So it goes from there, and it wanders around to here somewhere. So that also is possibly going to shoot us on sight. In fact, it wanders off up there as well, look. It goes off in that direction. I mean, we could possibly... We could maybe try to time it so we run through here and kind of out there while that robot's not looking. That would be quite good. But yeah, we kind of really want to head over in that direction. We need to get to the middle because so far we haven't been able to really use Betty's charm. We haven't met that many alive people. There was one person over here was she called Finn? Was it Finn? Yes, yeah, so Finn Allison over there. Had a nice chat with her. She was lovely. We got her a spacesuit. She's wearing it now. She was very happy with that. So she's sort of our buddy now. But so far, she is the only alive person that we've met. There are no other kind of alive people. There are lots of robots and there are lots of floaty dead people. But neither of those are very good conversationalists, to be honest. So yeah, we have to go and try and find some alive people so we can switch on the charm. But yeah, now I'm thinking, maybe... If that robot goes sort of all, all the way over there, maybe we time it right. We can come along here and then nip through these doors. We can nip through there. That does take us outside. I'm fairly certain that's taking us to a sort of like a dock, sort of outside dock type thing. But that's okay. That's okay. Well, we could go down the ladder. Let's have a look down the ladder right now because we are here. We're here at the ladder. So let's go and see what we find downstairs. Is there anything of any use? It looks like a little sort of, what is this? Like a, a sort of a staff area? Is this where the staff would go? It looks like a little sort of seating area, like a dining area. That looks like a kitchen or something. Uh, okay, let's head over this way. So what's through that door? That's just sort of showers and things. Universal bathroom unit. Um, Yeah, we don't really want to go in those. We had a chat with the onboard kind of system AI type thing last time about how the toilets and things work. And it's a little bit unsanitary, so we're not going to go in there. That's fine. What's in here? Is there anything of note in here? Um, we have ourselves. Okay. <laughs> There's a thing there I don't think we're going to need, to be honest. Um, a pink drink. Okay. What 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 is what is this? Is it a special pink drink? Is it just a fizzy drink? Tacky neon bright pink triangular bottle with very stylish label Pink Sensation. The alcoholic liquid inside smells like a mix between perfume and bubble gum. Uh, warning on the back says warning may cause world to seem rosy, then lower in smaller letters may cause mild or serious poisoning. No, we're gonna leave that behind. We'll leave that behind. I don't want to possibly poison myself. That'd be bad. Um there is a baseball bat. What are we holding right now? Hang on. A shock bat on. Okay. I think we keep the shock bat on. So that can be our sort of melee weapon and that can be our ranged weapon. We're not very good at using either of them, but yeah, it's a good, good plan to have at least something on board. Um, okay. There's some dropped clothes. What's a peer coin? One unit of the world's de facto cryptocurrency. Oh, money. Take all of that. Yeah, take all of those. Absolutely. Take all the money we can find. That's got to be good. More dropped clothes. A note with only 0451 on it. It's the magic code that all old school games have. Okay, that came from, um, was it System Shock? Was that the game that originally had 0451 as like a door code? And then loads of other games copied it. Deus Ex copied it. I think that's in the original Deus Ex and then also the sort of uh, the sequel, no, prequel one with Adam Jensen in. I think 0451 is a door code as well. Um, okay, we'll take the note because I don't think it weighs anything. We don't need a uniform though. We've already got our fancy kind of captain uniform thing. So we're okay with that. Is there anything else around here? There is a vent. I don't think we necessarily need the vent. 
I think we'll be okay. Uh, right, let's come out of here. Let's have a look in this door then. So is there anything in here? Oh, the door is locked with an electronic lock. You need the correct key card. Okay, I see why there is a vent. Hang on a second. Let's possibly have a crawl through the vent. Um, oh, okay. We, we, are, we have very awful luck with the dice rolling. We really, really have terrible luck with the dice rolling. We don't roll any pluses. We tend to just fail everything, but okay, never mind. That's part of the game. Uh, right, so we've failed to go through that vent. Um, so now, hang on, come back this way then. It would kind of, it would lead me to believe that that door is locked for a particular purpose because maybe something in that room is quite worthwhile having. So can we possibly try and pick it with a hairpin? Can we do this? Okay, give it a go. Got a tinker of two. It's risky. Again, no pluses. No pluses at all. How, how, we, are, we are awful at dice rolling in this game. Okay, right. We've failed that. We need a new hairpin as that one is burnt out. I think we have got a few. Let's have one more go. We'll have one more try. Can we please roll a plus on one of these dice? Uh, yay. Oh, it's a success. There we go. Okay, right. Open the door. Okie doke. We are in. Uh, let's go into here then. So, a light engineer spacesuit. Uh, comparatively lightweight, comfortable spacesuit for some uh, for outer space engineers. Offer some level of protection. Okay, that's quite good. A soldering iron. Uh, okay, that is a bit weighty. And a, scr <laughs> and a screen slate loaded with exciting imagery from all around the world. Okay, I don't think we need to take that one. Um, that would be quite good. But I think we're carrying way too much stuff as it is. Um, what's our current attire? Um, uh, hang on. Is there not a spacesuit? I'm fairly certain we are wearing a spacesuit right now. Um, hang on, what's the oxygen like? I think this area is oxygenated. That is an oxygen meter, isn't it? That's an O2 meter. So I think if we wanted to, we could... Oh, passenger spacesuit. There we go. So if we just unequip that, we're not going to... We're not going to die. Oh, that doesn't mean... Oh, hang on a minute. She's just standing there in her... I think Betty's now standing around in her underpants. She's standing around in her undergarments. I mean, you know, that's it's kind of linked to that screen slate there a little bit. Hang on a minute. So if we then went and grabbed that... Okay, so we can't hold that. But passenger spacesuit is five. Okay, so if we put that over there, that gives us... Hang on, what do we need? We need a mass of eight to pick up the light engineer spacesuit. Okay, mass with penge. Here we go. Um, we're going to need 14, uh, yeah, just below 14. Okay, so what else can we get rid of? What are the things can we get rid of in here? Um, I mean, how about, uh, how about, is anything, can we have it in order of, of weight? Can we have it in order of weight? Also, hang on, yeah, if, uh, somebody in the comments said, possibly we should read the book we found. We found a book of some kind. Um... Where is it? Was it on the next page, possibly? Um, they said we found like a, a manual about how to use computers. And somebody said, well, maybe you should read it and you might get better at computers. Hang on, where has it gone? Ah, there it is. I just missed it the first time round. Okay, so if we click that... Um, now, I don't think we can use it for anything. I don't think we can use it. It just covers very simple topics. But yeah, I don't know how we do anything with it. I don't think we kind of use it. Maybe it's an item that if we do go up to a computer and we're holding it, it means we can get, I don't know, a slightly easier time with the computer. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we can't use it or anything. There's not kind of like a read button or whatever. Okay, never mind. Right, so go back to here then. What can we drop off in here that we're never really going to use? I mean, a can. Oh, but that's only 0 0.2 mass. That is a little bit rubbish. Um, a laser drill bit. I mean, a crucial to asteroid mining, it says there. I don't see us doing much in the way of asteroid mining. So let's put that away. We'll grab ourselves a light engineer spacesuit and then possibly, do we put something else away as well? Electronic junk. Uh, we'll pop that in there for now, just to reduce our sort of carry weight a little bit. Okay, and then go to here. And I mean, for the moment, we could put the captain uniform on because yeah, it's lovely and sort of oxygenated around here. It's all absolutely fine. Okay, that was quite good. Uh, there is a vent there. Okay, so come back around this way. I assume we can't get through that door either. Um, how many hairpins have we got? I don't want to use them. Hairpin times two. Uh, okay, let's give this door a go. 
try and pick it, but only once. If we can't get in, we can't get in, never mind. And two minuses, one plus, it didn't work. Okay, never mind. Um, so now we're down to no, oh, I didn't want to do that. No, I oh, know one hairpin. Uh, there is a vent here. Can we try and crawl through the vent? Uh, okay, we'd have to remove the cover that's screwed in place. Bother. Okay, let's come back around here. Can we find any more hairpins? Uh, oh no, there is a kitchen terminal. <laughs> oh dearie me. Oh, but <laughs> because of your complete lack of computer skills, we pushed the wrong button and it's gone again. Ah, read the manual. Oh, here we go. Did that always happen before? The only thing is, is, it, is this a one use thing? Uh, we're going to read the manual. Following a set, a set of simple instructions, you trigger the safe mode. Okay, reboot the computer. Is it going to work this time? Okay, right. We're into the kitchen terminal. Has that used up our, our book? Um, I mean, was that the best place to use our computer book? I'm not entirely sure it was. Uh, or is it still around somewhere? I suspect maybe our computer book has gone and we should have kept it for a different purpose. But never mind, never mind. Do you know what? We're in here now. Let's go and read about the kitchen terminal. Um, database. You glance over the data covering the few weeks and it seems the kitchen was mostly so reheated or rehydrated, processed space food, and also large quantities of various alcoholic beverages. Some of it went to rooms here, but most requests came from the promenade. Okay, that's where we want to go. So space food paste, space potato stew, beef paste. I was kind of hoping that all the food and drink would just have the word space in front of them. So, you know, it'd be like space potato stew, space pizza, space pies, that kind of thing. But okay, space beef paste isn't a thing. Never mind. Um, and then work chat room. So Kip says, be down there in a minute. She says, hurry up, I'm swamped here. Sorry, it was up too late. Get these orders to the promenade, presto. Uh, one hot nugget to table three. One potato to table five. Just just one potato. They're just very humble in their diet. Two beefs to room one on it. By the way, where is a new girl? Uh, hi, I have a meeting with the superintendent and then we'll be coming down to the kitchen. Good, because if customers have to wait for Kip to show up, they'll starve. Okay. Uh, oh, crikey. There's a huge... Ah, here we go. There's a door code. Okay, that's what's coming out of this conversation. So um, the back door in the back of the kitchen is 0451. Okay. Ah, hang on. That's how we can get to the promenade. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a little kind of access door type thing. Okay, this is brilliant. 0451. Um, and they're all talking about... Uh, they're talking about the fact that it's not a very good number. They're saying it's a bit of a poor security number. But okay, the big thing is it's 0451. Okay, that's at the back of the kitchen. We sort of did already know that, but that's okay. Right, so pop over here. What's in that fridge? Hot plate... Uh, we're okay. Hector, a bottle of brown coloured spirit or whiskey. Okay. I mean, would that be good for bartering? Would that be good if we meet somebody and we could say, do you know what? We haven't got much on us, but have this whiskey. Would that be quite a good thing? We'll take a whiskey just to maybe use it for bartering. Uh, oh, and they've got space potato stew. I want to take a space potato stew because at some point we're going to take damage again. So it might make sense to uh, yeah, have a bit of food so we can top our health back up. Hector hot play. Uh, oh, I don't know what those things are. A data? A data? Oh, it's a weapon. And an atomic battery. Okay. A fairly common spaceship component. A mass of 10. There's no way we're ever going to pick that up. Okay, don't. Never mind. But we know it's there. Um, and some space food paste. Okay, we've got some proper food there. Uh, the wall terminal. What does that do? This is a keypad apparently for entering a pin. Okay, so because we now know that 0451 is a number and it's the best of all the door access numbers because it's used in a lot of different things, um, then yeah, we, it's kind of one of our options. If we hadn't have either read the note from the room we sort of, uh, I was going to say broke into, but yeah, the room that we entered perhaps slightly illegally or we hadn't had the computer, we wouldn't know that, so that wouldn't be there, but we can do that. Okay door is unlocked we can now go through here locked um the door is locked with an electronic lock no it's not locked i just unlocked it <laughs> i just unlocked the door thank you hang on enter that door is unlocked okay enter interaction oh now we're through okay we have to stand sort of there okay oh and it's locked behind us okay so now we can come around this i'm a little bit wary because of those robots those robots can just sort of pop out of anywhere. A circuit breaker? 
Um, oh, completed. Get inside. Find your way into an abandoned space. Oh, we just got some XP there. Um, get inside. Oh, okay. Hooray, we got some XP. Can we find out how near we are to leveling up? Do we have a kind of 14 out of 20 on? I really want to level up because I want to know what happens. I'm not quite sure what we do. Do we get some skill points? Do we get attributes? Do we get what? I don't know. I really want to level up and find out. Let's keep on wandering through here. Look, so pop along here. There's another computer there. What's that going to do for us? Disable security bots. Yeah, that might be quite handy. Missing ID. Oh, no. Okay. We need a point of sight. We need some Cytech. We have got two in Cytech. We have got two. Really? I mean, in hindsight, in hindsight, we should have gone down this route because we would have been able to just walk through this if we could have just, you know, disarmed all the robots and everything. But never mind. Uh, so let's try and do this. Let's try and hack the robots. We haven't got the thing, have we? What was the other option? Oh, or just hack the thing. Yeah, disable the security bots. Hack the thing. Here we go. Two. It says impossible on it. Okay. <laughs> right. No, we're not going to re-roll it. It says impossible. So let's not even bother. There we go. We've broken that. There's a person there. Hello. Uh, we were just accessing the computer to look at the local sport results and the weather. That's what we were doing. We weren't hacking it. It's fine. Um, hi. Who are you? A live person. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Whoa. Hey there. I never expected to meet anybody down here. This is very exciting because we are charming. We're good at talking to people. That makes two of us. Who are you? Ah, we're um explorers. I mean scavengers. Uh, we? Me and my bros. That's our ship parked at the East End Dock. Hard to miss it. You can find the rest of the gang upstairs on the promenade. Ah, right. Okay. So me and my bros. Your ship. What was the chap called? It was like Vilnius or something like that, was it? Um, okay, so mind if I ask a question of you. What's with that door? What are you doing here all alone? Yeah, what are you doing here all alone? My pal needs a certain part to patch stuff up and I'm looking for it around the station. That's how we keep her running. Scavenge and patch, rinse and repeat. What kind of replacement part? Is it a fuel regulator? A speech check and we're good at that. Say, since you're exploring anyways, mind if we stick together, that would be safer. Okay, we get a friend. We could have a friend. Okay, we're going down that route. We've got a speech of four, look, likely. Okay, we managed to draw no pluses on that and a minus, but we were saved by a high speech. Okay, you know, you might be right. There's an awful lot of those cam bots and they're not nothing. Yeah, let's try to stick together. Grand, let's go then. But what part are you looking for? What's up? I don't know what you're looking for. Um, okay, hang on. So what were you doing down here? What kind of replacement part are you looking for? Okay, so they want to find a B521 a valve. Uh, now, man, all of ours are fine. Uh, those things don't really break. They do if you get shot by space pirates who are eating space soup, whatever it was. Uh, no, I'm looking for some kind of valve. I don't know how it looks exactly, but he said there should be B521 written somewhere on it. Okay, so you're scavenging and then there we go. Right, I think we've kind of come to the end of that. Let's talk later. What's with that door? Uh, okay, uh, that's ours. We could dibs on whatever is in there first. Uh, you can't be serious. Dibs? No. Nah. That's the rule. We were here first, so we get to claim the stuff. You better back off that room. Light taps on his weapon. I'm serious, man. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. So, end conversation. So, where else can we go? Can we can we walk along here? Um, uh, oh, fuel cell. Hang on. Fuel cell? That's in a different room, is it? Is that in a different room? I can't really make this out round here. Um, I think... We might have to go through that. That's the fuel bunker. Oh, there's a robot on the other side. There's a big robot on the other side. Okay, yeah, this is outside, isn't it? Oh, there are many robots possibly out there. Okay. Uh, there is a vent. Can we... Oh, we haven't got a screwdriver. We haven't got a screwdriver. We can't go through the vent. Do you have a screwdriver on you, my good sir? Can you please help us? It'd be very handy if you had a screwdriver. Um. Okay, no. What was in there again? What was in the circuit breaker? Oh, just an actual circuit breaker. Um, a device, essentially a switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage. Um, a vital part of any electrical system. Without it, nothing works. What if we just take it out? What happens then? We've taken it out of that box. D does that mean stuff's broken? Is that now broken? Um, no. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. There is a ladder there. Where's that ladder going to take us? Is that ladder going to take us 
up onto the area where one of those robots is going to be patrolling. Because that would be a bit of a nuisance, wouldn't it? We need to go and find a screwdriver and kind of try and break in through that vent and then come back this way. Or we could go up that ladder and risk maybe being shot up by a robot. Because for all we know, we could pop up that ladder and we could be next to one of the little kind of robots and it'll go, hello, I'm going to chop your legs off. Um, nothing down here to do, though. So we've kind of covered all this off. I think if they're going to get all a bit fighty going through that door, um, we're going to have to go up the ladder. Let's be big and brave. We're big and brave. We're big and brave. We're big and brave. We're very brave. We're in a completely different bit to where I thought we were going to be. Hang on, where's this? Oh, ah, okay. That's the ladder we went down. And that's the ladder we could... I thought we were going to be more over here, look. But no, we're over here. Oh, this is a whole new bit. There's a person. Hello, person. And some broken robot as well. Okie dokie. Chicken nuggets. Okay, there's loads of food and drink around. That's fine. That's all okay. Cope with that. Um, right. Let's maybe... What's in these? Just lots of drink going on. The cash register. Okay, is it worth a look at this? Have we broken it? Oh my goodness me, we've looked at a computer and we haven't broken it. It's not burst into flames. Uh, okay, uh, log in. We can't. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, maybe if we look around, we might find an employee with some sort of like key card or whatever. What does that do? What's that? Part of a network, but provides no specific functionality on its own. Okay, so it's just a computer that is sort of a bit broken. Okay, let's head round here. Oh, I like this. We have a whole new area to go and explore. This is wonderful. I suspect maybe there are some robots around here. I saw something moving just there. Oh, no, hang on. R run away. Ah, right. We're in combat. There's a there's an alive robot there. We are going to, as best we can, run away. Bye-bye now. Stay back. Enemy turn. I think because we're out of sight, we can end combat. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, it's a shop. It's a little shop. We really could do with deactivating that thing. That'd be really good. Oh, there's loads of exciting things in there. Jeans and turtleneck. Wow, I don't know how we know that they're on those shelves. How do we know that's on that shelf? We can see through walls now. We could wear jeans and a turtleneck. We would be the kings of stuff. Hang on. It just said warning to us. I think we should not be near that. Let's go the other way. Let's come down here. What's over here? There we go. There's a floaty person. Hello, floaty person. Uh, do you have anything on you? Like a key card? Just a red shirt and khaki pants. Bad. I mean, I'm not questioning your style choices. That's fine. If you want to wear that, that's okay. I don't know whether it's good or bad. It's all fine with me. Right, head over this way. Just be careful. Because we can't see if there are robots. That's a dead robot. That's okay. Remains. Right, try and examine this. Try and examine it. Um, if we can get some bits out of it, that'd be okay. Again, no pluses. No no pluses on there. Okay, right, that's completely ruined. And we're not going to do with that ever again. Uh, that thing has just appeared. And there are people over here. There are many people. Ooh. Beep, 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 beep. Say the doors. Okay, little bit worrying, but okie doke. Uh, that's not letting... I guess that's... that's we've still got oxygen. I was going to panic then and sort of throw a... Um, and throw a, a spacey on, but no, we're okay. Um, let's give this a go. Let's try and examine this one. 50-50, uh, and no pluses again. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. I mean, this dice rolling thing doesn't really work for us. Can we maybe roll a plus on one of these? Um, yeah, let's uh, let's try again, look. 50-50, can we roll a plus? One plus on how many dice was that? 12 dice? Um, dismantle the innards. And pull them out. Let's give that a go, shall we? Again, 50-50. Come on, roll a plus a day. Two pluses, my goodness me. Okay, so we've got a few bits and bobs. Uh, electronic cartridges and electronic junk is one. Ah, but if we do pick that up, then we can't carry anything else. Okay, right, that's fine. We know we can go back to that one and pick up some junk if we need to. Um, there's a door there. There's some stairs going up, stairs going down. However, there are lots of people. There's somebody there, two people here, and a person there in a lovely pink jumpsuit type thing. So I think possibly we should go and have a word with these people. But I would like to, if we could, maybe take that robot down. If we so come over here, look, if we can just come to here. 
I don't think it can see us. So then if we wait, I was going to say, yeah, if we wait for it to kind of do its little rounds, it comes down here. We then need to run to that terminal. And I don't know if time pauses then, but then time does pause. We could try and hack the terminal and then try and switch that thing off. I mean, we've been absolutely awful at that so far, but I think it might be worth a go. So as soon as you go, here we go. Right, run, 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 run. Get to here. And now imagine time pauses while we do this. Disable security bots. Hack the thing. It's unlikely. We might get like four pluses. Or we might get one. Okay, it failed. Never mind. Right, we can't go into there. Run away a bit more. No, no, run away, run away, run away. So do not approach. Are we in combat? Uh, oh, he's being, okay, this man is being attacked. We are going to uh, bravely run away around the corner. Goodbye, we're going to leave you to it. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be fine. We'll come out of combat. We can't come out of combat because our friend is being attacked. We are in no position to do any fighting. We're just gonna uh, walk around here. There we go, a fun walk around. Oh, I think he's dealt with it. I think, I think they've dealt with it. End turn, it says detected. Um, oh no, hang on, no, no, that's another robot. That's another robot. Okay, um, yeah, we're not, we're not very good at fighting. So I don't really want to do any fighting with the robot. I mean, is it worth, we've got a gun. Is it worth getting a gun out? <laughs> this is not Betty's forte, of course. So go here and uh, we'll go round the corner and we'll do, can we shoot at the thing? I want to shoot. I can't really see where the right. Ah, there's a robot. Okay, so shoot, scan vitals, or end. Turn. Have we not got any ammo? Oh, we need to reload the gun. Do it. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, so now, well, okay, now we're going to run back around the corner because I'm scared. Right. So end our turn. Hopefully, he can take care of it this turn. It'll all be fine. Um, I think our friend might be dead. <laughs> I think the person that said, yeah, sure, I'll come with it. Yeah, we can work together as a team. Might possibly be a little bit dead. Yeah, they've become some remains. Can we end combat? Yeah. Okay, right. That didn't go entirely according to plan. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Oh, dear. Uh, right. Okay. Hopefully nobody saw that. Hopefully nobody saw that. Uh, put the gun away. Put the gun away. That's not going to look good if we go around here and chat to people. Right. I want to run over and very quickly go through the remains of this person here. Um, ah, main door key card for the big spaceship. We'll definitely take one of those. Bad tracksuit, don't want that. A bit of a gun, electric cartridge, a shiv, just like a primitive knife type thing, um, and a space. Okay, so nothing that we haven't already got. Come back round this way before that thing comes round. Right, okay, I'm, I'm really sorry, friend. I'm really sorry. I, I can't fight. I can't fight at all. I thought we were past it. The robot got a bit fighty. I do apologise. Um, I shall remember you. Well, I don't know what your name was, but we shall remember you, person in a bad tracksuit. Speaking of bad tracksuits, let's go and have a chat with you over here. So, hello. How are you and what are you doing just stood in the middle here? So, somebody. Hey. Hi. I'm scavenging, looking for fuel. You. Okay. Uh, same. She responds quickly and then pauses if she, as if she wants to continue, but falters for some reason. Okay, so wait in awkward silence. Yeah, we'll let her, we'll let her talk. Why are you sort of faltering? Uh, listen, maybe you want to that scavenging with me for a bit? Want to try scavenging? Uh, sure, why not? Well, sorry, I work better alone. I mean, you, you might want to, you might want to go and have a chat with the last person that I went scavenging with. Although you might find it hard because they're a bit dead, which I suppose is the problem. Um, sure, why not? I mean, they might come in useful. Cool. Let me put on a spacesuit. Wait, okay. Uh, I'm ready. We can go. What are we looking for? Uh, let's find a local infirmary, all right? Now, I've no idea where exactly, but there should be one on the station for sure. Okay. Have you got some sort of virus or whatever? Right. So now I've got a new friend who hopefully is going to stay alive a little bit longer. They're called Santa. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Hi, Santa. <laughs> okay. Um, right, nothing, just checking in. Okay, right, so that's Santa, which is a surprise, I'll be honest, but there we go. Uh, right, we'll leave that robot, because we're not very good at the robots. Um, I kind of feel like for now we should go and chat to everybody else, because there are three other people around here. Hang on. Uh, right, what's up? Um, can we discuss our cooperation? Um, wait here, I think. I think, yeah, could you wait here? 
Uh, see you later. Okay, so that makes sure, yeah, they're not following us. Okay, they're not our companion anymore. Uh, let's have a chat with you two. Keep away from the door and we'll have no problems. Okay, right. He's talking. I didn't think there was sort of audio in this game, like, you know, people actually chatting apart from this. But no, he did say keep away from the door and we will have no problems. However, charm. Here we go, Betty. Switch on the charm. What's so special about this door? My goodness me, your sunglasses are very nice indeed. And even though we rolled no pluses again, behind this door. there's some treasure around the door. Even though we rolled no pluses again, we still managed to succeed because our charm is quite high. Okay, so he hesitates for a second, like evaluating if you can be trusted with the answer. Finally, he smiles. A treasure behind the door. Okay, like golden gems. No, you dum-dum. This is access to the fuel bunker. Which is still full of precious juice. That's way better than gold. Okie dokie, right, so you must be important because you're voiced. You're like a voiced character. Nobody else that we've met so far has actually had a voice. So, um, okay, another speech check. Do you need help perchance? Now come on game, please give us a plus on one of these dice. Come on, you can do it. The chance is likely. Nope, there we go. Actually, do you know anything about locks? I mean, can you pick one? I'm frankly staggered at the fact that we're rolling so few pluses on those dice. We've rolled hardly any compared to the amount of dice we've thrown. We are rolling hardly any pluses at all. We're rolling so many minuses. Um, okay, so yeah, scratch his head. I think that did pass, didn't it? Um, uh, that door just there. We're not very good at picking locks, but we can possibly try. Yeah, it's locked up real good. Maybe a bit too good for us. If you can bust it open for us... You get as many fuel cells as you can carry. Okay, I mean, that does sound like a good deal, but I suspect what might actually happen is that we're going to get shot. Um, I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. I might come back with a friend to possibly help out if you do get a bit fighty. Great. Then you're welcome to give it a go. Okay, help the scavengers get into the fuel bunker. Okay, so we are picking up a few more goals now, look. So, you yeah, know, get a fuel chip. Get the fuel tank, but yeah, we've got to find that B521 chip thing, um, or a valve, whatever it is. Um, solve Santa's secret problem. Okay. So yeah, that, oh yeah, that was her going to the infirmary. And then, yeah, just find some fuel. So we've got a little list of things to do now. Little list. Um, backstage access. Okay. Right, so let's chat with you, because we're good at talking. The woman seems concerned about something and absorbed in her thoughts. Okay, perception, read, personality. I think we're okay at perception. We're not brilliant, but we're okay. We might muddle through, so let's give it a go. Let's see if we can roll a plus on any of these dice. Uh, nope. Again, no pluses, but it was a success anyway. A sense of grounded rationality and confidence radiates from this woman. On the other hand, you also feel she does not have direct control over decisions in the group, many of whom she considers less competent. But instead of being frustrated and angry, she seems to be calm, thus implying she can still manipulate the course of action and reach her goals. She very well could be the grey eminence of this group. Okie dokie. Right, so, okay, mind if I ask you a question, whatever your name is? Actually, I do mind. I'm afraid Vilnius will just run downstairs the moment he breaks the lock without thinking and looking around for a second. Why shouldn't he? Okay, maybe because there's robots down there that want to shoot him to death? The station is full of cam bots for some reason, and I think there could be more downstairs. There are more downstairs. I've seen them. There should be a security terminal somewhere to disable them, and since I don't see one around here, it must be behind this locked door. I saw one downstairs when I was coming here. Yeah, it, it, that's what I just said. Yeah, that. Downstairs? Oh, right, below us, but still outside the bunker. Makes sense. We should disable the cam bots from it. Can you take me there? Absolutely, yeah, sure. Let's go then. Absolutely. Um, wait. Is it just us girls? Uh, yes, it's not that far anyway. Okay, come on, come on. Persuade you. <gasps> Some pluses. My goodness me. Uh, all right, dang. I'll regret this, won't I? Uh, don't worry, it will be okay. I'll just put on my suit. All right, we can go. Uh, I hope you know where you're going because if I, uh, because I don't know this station at all. Lead the way and I'll follow. Try to avoid trouble if you can. Okay, absolutely, yes. We'll try to avoid trouble. So, I mean, it was just down here. There was a hatch. We are going to put our spacesuit on, just in case. I think maybe we should make it a rule that if we do transition between areas that we can't see, we should put a spacesuit on. Because, yeah, last time we nearly did die of asphyxiation by just popping down a ladder. So, uh, yeah, hang on a second. Where is... Yeah, that one. So, equip that. So, what does that current one look like? Oh, yeah, we've got one of these ones. 
We've not got the orangey one anymore. We've got that one. Okay, so yeah, it's down here, look. Down here. Um, and then and then just there, look. It's there. Hello. Uh, I cannot get there. Okay, there. Do we need to talk to you? It's just there, look. Yes. Um, here we are. This is the terminal. There you go. Ha! Huh. Turns out it was nearby indeed. Didn't think it would be so close. Approaches the terminal and starts interacting. Okay, so we'll just wait. Something's wrong. I can't get in. Damn, the security here is tough. Okay, right. Let me try. I think we've tried already. But, I mean, yeah, does it... I know we get another go. It's impossible. We've got no chance. <laughs> we even got a plus, look. We even got a plus. Um, it's got surprisingly tough security redundancies in place. You fail. Botherations, it says there. Do we have a plan B? Um, hold your horses. We can still get in with the right key card. Um, I don't have it. And I wonder if it's still on the station. Okay, so we need a key card to get in. One step at a time. Whatever happened here happened very quickly. And a lot was left behind in the evacuation. Tap some keys. I say we try to find this guy, Kazimir Novak, or his room. Who's that? I managed to pull the access log, probably because there's almost nothing valuable, only dates and names, and I can see that this Kazimir Novak guy has accessed this terminal a lot. Alright, but where is he? We've only got a name. There should be an employee database in the station security office. Just get me there, and I'll find his record, I'm sure. Okay, wait, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got my own things to worry about. Why should I help you? What's in it for me? It's a fair question. What do we get out of this arrangement? Um, uh, I need fuel. Maybe after we resolve your problem here, you could share some from your ship. Okay. Oh, I like this. So if we can't get into the room with all the fuel in on the station, we could possibly get this person here to give us some fuel from their big orange spaceship that's parked up outside. That's quite clever. Yeah, okay, let's go for that likely come on roll some pluses i dare you oh my word all the pluses okay wonderful she's contemplating an answer for a moment when the pros and cons finally she sighs <sighs> all right i guess this is fair i cannot just ask you to risk your life and not offer anything in return it's a deal you get the fuel once we disable the cam bots sounds good let's not waste any more time and find the security console okay so now we have another job to go and find yeah the security key card to say with the cam bar. So we need to go and find the security office. Um, okay. So whereabouts would that be, do you suppose? Yes, we can't get through that door. The fuel bunker is locked. We shall, yeah, I can't get through that vent either, unfortunately. Let's pop up the ladder then. I mean, it would make sense. Would it be up a floor? Would it be up a floor? I'm not sure. I think, ah, oh, that's Vilnius. Ah, oh, right, okay. He's the head of the sort of uh, scavenger outfit. So he's the boss of them. So who's over here then? In the exciting yellowy spacesuit. Who are you, somebody? Can we have a little chat? Can we chat to you? The giant man, question mark, in a heavy spacesuit, slowly turns his head and looks at you. Uh, okay, we'll try a perception roll. It's a risky one, but we'll give it a go. We might get some pluses. We got a plus and a minus, which means it's a failure. Um, we failed to detect any unique insights about Ed Ziss's personality, although we have magically just acquired his name by looking at his spacesuit. But okay, probably what you see is what you get. Huge, quiet man. Okay. Um, okay, right. I think we've done that already. Uh, yeah, you're a big, quiet man. Okie doke. That's fine. Good. So we can't go out that way. We tried to access that terminal and that went wrong. We can't go out this way. So where do these two things go? Where do these lead? These lead out onto here. Can't really see anything over here. There is another floaty person. Um, ah, here we go. That's quite helpful. So that things have gone out of the way. Um, that, I think, is outside. But we are in spacesuits. So it's all okay. Uh, those remains. Uh, VR Suite keycard. Take any key cards we can find. That makes perfect sense. Do we head over there? I can't get there, says that person. All right, I'm on here. All right, I'm just having a look around. Right, can we see in there if there are any little robots pootling about? There is something moving because something just kind of flickered past there. Uh, yeah, look, there's something in there. There's something moving, uh, but I don't know what it is. There is something just there, look. And I think it's going to move in a second, but I'm not sure what it is. I can't quite get eyes on it. Okay, might be a bit risky going into there. So let's go along here, look. Anything going on around here? Can we uncover this part of the world? Uh, ah, right, okay. Now we're coming up to the other end of here. Oh, hang on. 
There's the medical wing. There's the infirmary or whatever it is. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. We want to go and grab this other person. Who was it? It was you. Hang on a minute. It was Santa. Let's nip down here, look. Come down here. We'll have a chat with Santa. We'll take her to the infirmary. And hopefully that might finish something else. So hang on a minute. So chat with you. Um, what's up? Come on, let's go. Um, uh, great. Got bored of it. Right, here we go. So now, do they both follow us? Uh, are, they, are we now just leading a little kind of group of people around? Um, hey, wait for me. Yeah, I think now they're both with us, look. They're both just coming with us. Okay, that's good. That's good. You know, strength in numbers and such. This is all fine. Hopefully they can, you know, do shooting and stuff because we're completely inept. Right, come here then. And then poke our nose into here. There should be an employee database in the station security office. Just get me there and I'll find his record. Oh, hang on. No, hang on. Did I just did I just click on you by accident? I didn't mean to click on you. I want to go through the door. That's what I wanted to do. Okie dokie. Right, so in we go. Right, you, Santa, we're in the thing. What's up? Um, I think this is it. The infirmary. Okay, so do what you want to go and do. Yeah, though a not very good one. It says that even it's heyday. What did you want here? Uh, nervous laugh. I need pills. Pills? What kind of pills? You know, lady pills. Oh, those pills. So birth control. Uh, those work too. But actually, all I need is something to suppress my period. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Because you are in space. Okay. You could have told us that before. Mine is really bad. Migraine, cramps, tummy aches. But it's not the worst, of course. Shrugs. Just let me put it like this. Washing clothes in a communal zero-G bathtub is... <sighs> Oh boy, sometimes I hate my own body so much. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound like a desirable thing. That does sound bad. How long has it been? All the female employees are guaranteed a supply of no men for the whole duration of the contract. But there was that revolt, of course. My stash ran out in three months. Oh dear. Okay, how long have you been out there, though? If you've been out there three months in a day, it's not so bad. And ever since, I've been on the lookout for those medicaments. That's a good word. Every time we visit a wreck... Unfortunately, there are less and less of them, as I'm not the only woman in junk space, of course. This station, though, is relatively untouched by looters. On the other hand, it's full of killer robots, though. So that's why you asked me to come with you. Okay, makes perfect sense. Although we are not any good at fighting off the killer robots. We're very good at running away from them, but yeah, we're no use at fighting them. So, a bit of a mistake there, but never mind. Um, okay, so yeah, I cannot go alone this time. Not after what happened. Okay, so mind if I ask a question or look around for the pills. Okay, mind if I ask a question. So, uh, okay, why me? You didn't ask any of your friends. How the rest of the women on the ship dealing with it? Is there an expiration date or that? So, um, I mean, yeah, why me? Why didn't you ask the other people you're with? Uh, friends is an overstatement. You're more like a family that you cannot get rid of or run away from. Ingrid's a cold person and Natty is too stuck up and perfect, insufferably so. And surely I won't discuss my periods with any of the bros. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. How are the rest of the women on the ship dealing with it? Uh, I don't talk too much about it. Not sure how Ingrid is handling it, but I know Nat has got the Lark implant. Lucky person. She came to Belt later than me, and at that time the company started to use these special long-haul versions of these things for female employees. And apparently, it's still running even after all these years. Dang, I wish I was in her place. Oh, okay, hang on, who's got the thing? So Nat has got something, which means she doesn't have periods, so she doesn't need to worry about all this stuff. Okay, can I ask something else? Isn't there an expiration day? That's my worst nightmare. But as I understand, the stuff we got here is designed for space with shortages in mind. That's why everything is still running, even after two decades. Even food is edible. Same for pills, apparently. They get extra protective coating, stabilizers, and whatnot. Okie doke. Right, let's try and find them then, shall we? So, we are looking for... Okay. I don't know if that's what we're looking for or not, but it's got no weight. It's got no weight. So, okay, we'll just pick that up. That's okay. We'll grab that. Somebody might want it. Um, is there... Uh, I mean, there's, there's loads of stuff. Hang on. Automed. Is the computer going to help us? Um, what's <laughs> What seems to be the nature of your medical emergency? Ah, oh, be good. They should get some sort of hologram to it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, pain, limb damage, sickness. Uh, take off the service access panel. Uh, we might do that in a bit. Hang on. Let's look around first. So I don't quite know what we're looking for. I know men. No men. There. That's what she was after. That one there. There we go. Uh, yeah, that. I found it. I found it. There you go. You can have it now. I've got it. 
and play database. And you're, no, you're the other one. Hang on a minute. Now I want to go and talk to you. I found it. I've got it. What's up? Um, I found this. Show no man box. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Grabs it and starts checking the label. Uh, what is that? Points to a medical machine in the corner of the room. Okay. That's an automated station, isn't it? Approaches the machine in the corner. It is. These things are supposed to perform routine medical procedures. Oh no. Okay, she's getting ideas. She's getting ideas. She wants to do some sort of permanent medical procedure rather than just take the pills. That could be quite bad. That could be quite bad. Probably just the basics though. Um, it's there. There's the program. Oh, hang on. She's gone to the screen and she's tapping some keys. What program? What are you talking about? The machine can implant Lark under my skin. Seems like it has the cartridges and also the needed programming. Ah, Lark is the thing that we just read about with the other lady. Nat was it that's got the sort of implant thing. Are you thinking of using it? Heck yeah. I mean, if this works out, I could say goodbye to pain, nausea, and all that complicated routine. This would really simplify things. This machine has been gathering dust for two decades. Aren't you at least a bit concerned? Can't you insert the implant yourself? Are you sure this is what you think it is? You are not a trained medical professional after all. Um, uh, uh, let me at least check it out beforehand or go ahead. Oh, crikey, is okay. I mean, uh, th th this is a recipe for disaster, isn't it? The chance of things going wrong is quite high. Let's ask that top question, shall we? The machine's been gathering dust for decades. Aren't you at least a little bit concerned? It's not been maintained or anything. It could go horribly, horribly wrong. Aren't you at least a little tiny bit concerned? I am a little bit, but most of the systems around still work after all these years, so why wouldn't this? I suppose that makes sense. Um, are you sure this is what you think it is? You're not a trained medical professional. Yeah, are you sure that's the right machine? Automed is supposed to be a replacement for a doctor in some cases, and apparently this procedure is included, so there's no reason to doubt it. Okay, can't you insert the implant yourself? Let me check it out. Let me at least check it out beforehand. I mean, I don't want to do an implant thing myself. But maybe we just sort of, I don't know, give the kit a once over to make sure it's working and sterile and whatever. Let's let's do that one. All right, sure. Take a look. No need to rush it. So end the conversation. So hang on. Head over here then. So there's a scalpel in there. Um, it's a teeny tiny knife, but it's a weapon. Um, it's deadly, but because of the size, also too impractical as a weapon. 0.1 mass. You know what? We will take that. That might come in useful in some way. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, hang on. Where are we going? Oh, hang on. No, they weren't. They're not in the same room. Okay, that could have been a disaster. Where is this thing that you're talking about? Is that it? You know, that's the universal bathroom unit. Can we? Oh, no, they're in a different room as well. Uh, there's a vent. Where's this machine that you were talking about? Where's the... Where's the machine? Autumn. Oh, that one there. Oh, that one. Okay. Right, so we can have a look at this. So pain, limb damage, sickness. Um, um okay, we've got pain. Um, pay hundred and so money or turn it off. Oh, it's money. Right, so we have to pay money. Right, okay, so we haven't got enough money to go and sort that out. Um, do we take anything from here? What are these kind of meds? Uh, carton box of pharmaceutical medicine. List of effects on the back. I mean, yeah, we'll take all of these. We'll take all of that because it might be useful. We might find useful things in there. We'll take that as well. And you know what? They don't weigh anything. We'll take all of those things because if it's got no weight, we might be able to sell them on or whatever. That could be quite handy. I'm a little bit hesitant to let Santa go and use the automed thing, but she does seem quite sure about it. She's quite confident that it's okay and it's safe and it's going to be fine. And it's her choice in the end. So do you know what? Santa, if you think it's okay, then it's okay. So what's up with the auto med? She's asking, hang on, yeah, we could do something with the, hang on, hang on, we could take the back off, couldn't we? Could we not take the back off or something? Take off the service access panel, do that. We need a screwdriver to get it open. Okay. I think, Joe, you know what? I, if you want to go for it, you go for it. Um, Do you still want to do it? Do you still want to do this? Okay, so all right, if you're sure, by all means, go ahead. I can't really check it out anymore. I don't have a screwdriver to go and sort of open the back up. And even if I did, I would probably make it explode. I'm not very good at computers. They tend to go wrong when I go near them. So um, I do have a terrible feeling about this. I kind of feel like because there is some sort of service panel type thing on there, we're supposed to take it off and have a look inside. John, maybe it's been like drugged or something. 
You have to finish your interaction. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me check it out. Sorry. Um, we're going to go and try and find a screwdriver. There's got to be a screwdriver somewhere. Maybe if we come down here, look, and then come down to here, what's over on this part of the station? Again, try and avoid any kind of, you know, terrifying robots or whatever. Can we uncover this over here? Ah, there we go. There's a keypad. Right, so now we're... Ah, right, we're outside again. We're outside, thank goodness, with a spacesuit. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, what does that keypad do? What does that do? Apparently for entering a pin. Ah, okay. So we don't know what the pin is. Oh, oh, hang on. VR suite. We've got a, a swipey for that. We've got a swipey thing for that. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. So can we go into here? Ah, here we go. Here we go. This looks like a storing of some kind. There's got there. Screwdriver. Yes, we will take your screwdriver. Thank you very much. And also a hairpin as well, because they're useful. We won't take the junk. Anything else in here while we're here? 3D ink cartridge, wrench, electronic junk, another screwdriver. We will take another one, but we can't because we're carrying too much stuff. How about we put something else into here and then take another screwdriver? Because we're not very good at that kind of stuff. We probably will break the screwdriver. Let's get rid of the soldering iron. And we'll take a screwdriver. There we go. Anything else over here? A roll of... <gasps> There's a roll of duct tape. A woo! Do you know what? How heavy is the duct tape? A woo! It is 0.35. We've got to take the duct tape. A woo! And a ratchet as well. We're, I mean, we are at the absolute limit of our carry capacity. And our pockets are just full of nonsense. But that's got to be good. Okay. Right. We found what we were looking for. There's some stairs down there and a door over there as well. However, let's head back to the infirmary and take the back off of that computer thing above over there and just see why that's even an option. Because I find it suspicious that that's even a thing that we can consider doing. So let's go and have a little look, shall we? What is going on with this? They're all going to come this way. Santa's now stood over there where there might possibly be a terrifying robot. Don't, don't stand out there, please. That'll be a terrible life choice. Uh, right, here we go. Over here, look. So, auto med. So, take the back off. Here we go. Take off the service access panel. You manage to take off the service panel. There's a complicated jumble of wires, gears, and various mechanisms. Getting a sense of it all will not be easy. Okay. So, try to find the possible fault. Is there a fault? Oh, no, but if it goes wrong, she might be cross with us. Although, she does have some pills to help her through for a while. Um... I think we have to give it a go. How difficult is it? 50-50. Come on, game. Come on. We got no pluses again. Reroll it. We're going to reroll it. This is important. This might possibly save Santa's life. We can't be responsible for killing Santa in some botched medical operation. That'd be a disaster. We're going to use one of our two remaining rerolls to hopefully get at least one plus on those dice. Come on now. Come on. Give us one plus on these. Um, okay, we did it. Success. You notice that one of the actuator stabilizers seems to be leaking oil. That may cause imprecise or jerky manipulator movements. The component is too complex to just jury rig. It has to be replaced with a new one. An actuator stabilizer. Um, okay. So come out of that. I think it's a bit broken. I think it's slightly broken. Santa. Um, yeah, what's up with the auto med? Uh, do you still want to do it? Uh, oh, I can't say it's bro it was broken. Ah, there you go. It's broken. Using it would be dangerous. Really? Ah, poo. Uh, maybe we can fix it somehow. Uh, maybe there are drugs that can improve your chances. I'll take a look at it. Perhaps fault isn't serious. I think there's nothing we can do. Or wait a bit. I'll get back to you. I mean, I'll take a look at it. I will go and take a look at it. Although we are getting into this point now where we just have to keep kind of, you know, doing many fetch quests to repair things for everybody. So, okay. So, I think so. Uh, no, fantastic. Can I then use it? I think so. Go ahead, or do you want to do it? I think. Well, not now, because I've got to fix it first. I think it needs to be fixed first before you go and try and do the thing. Uh, do you still want to do it? Um, um, hang on. It's broken. It'll be dangerous. Uh, le uh, let me get back to you. Wait a bit. Let me get back to you. There we go. That's what we wanted. So, now on the to-do list, um, do we have... What was it? What did we need? I've completely forgotten. Lack of supply. Ah, um, I know we've got that. We've got that thing sorted out. It's it's the uh, what was it again? 
I've completely forgotten what the thing was that we needed. I can't remember. It was a complicated sounding thingamajig. Um, yeah, we've done this. We did that. Um, actuator stabilizers. Okay, so we have to get an actuator stabilizer. Where would we find one of those? I have absolutely no idea. Where's the engineering department? Does anybody know where engineering might be? We might be able to get over here if we're quick and run into this little bit over here because that robot's kind of cleared off out of the way. If you could all come in, that would be good. And then make sure you shut the door. Can you shut the door behind you? Okay, yes. However, I don't think this is just a teeny tiny room. Sleeping pills are nominal tablets and a nail. Can we take a nail? They weigh stuff. Okay, we won't do that then. Error cannot follow. Okay, right. Let's wait for that robot to come back up this way. And then possibly when it goes back down here, we will then try and pop into this room over here because hopefully, fingers crossed, it's some sort of engineering room with that thingamabob that we need to fix that machine. Okay, nobody move. Everybody stay still. Oh, botherations. The door has opened and the robot is there. Okay, open the door as it went past. Um, right, Th this could be quite bad. We're going to try and run away because we are no good at fighting. We can't run past the... Oh, we could potentially... Hang on. Can we sprint past the robot? Um, Because which one... Hang, yeah, Ingrid's got a gun out. Ingrid has a gun out. We need her to survive, really, because because they're going to give us quests and things. Um, Yeah, okay. We're going to try and run away. We're going to run that direction. And then if we do get a gun out, uh, line of fire. Ah, we can't sit. Can we end combat? No bother because that thing is aware of our existence because that door crept open now oh, what a nuisance okay i thought we we're going to be safe i thought we we're going to be fine but no um okay we can't do anything so if we end our turn uh hang on a minute she's just taken off her what are you doing what why have you wandered out there and why is she taken off her spacesuit santa an ingrid <laughs> We're going to have nobody left. There's going to be nobody left at all. Um, right, we can't even get out the door now to shoot at the robot. Um, okay, Ingrid, you're supposed to attack the robot, though. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't die, Ingrid, because we like you. You need stuff from us, and it's stuff that we can sort of deal with. What if we run to here? Can we then shoot at the thing? A quick shot. Fast, but half as powerful. Okay, we are terrible at this. Ah, we've paralyzed the robot. Oh, hang on a minute. Did we just do a shooty thing? We just did a shooty thing. KS3 is paralyzed and skips this turn. Um, okay, so do we do a steady shot? Don't move for a shot to improve accuracy. I'm not quite sure how we're shooting at it because as far as I can see, it's round a corner. But do you know what? We will take that steady shot. Right, shoot. Oh my goodness me, we just took out a robot. We just fought a robot. And we won. Okay, we've just done a thing. <laughs> we did a thing. Okay, right. That was good. That was good. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm quite frankly amazed. Let's put, let's reload. Because you might as well not enough AP. I mean, combat's ended, hasn't it? Surely, uh, hang on. Combat, we're out of combat. Surely, there we go. Right, reload the gun. There you go. Reload the gun. Um, Right, well, now we can walk around here with relative freedom. I'm going to put the gun away. We don't need it out now. With relative ease. Uh, what's in here then? Anything in here? A uniform. Skywalk back dark key card. Computer manual. Oh, the computer manual might be useful. It weighs 0.35. Stay awake pills and a key card will have. Um, uh, how to captain. Oh. Oh, hang on. No. I, I, is that another thing we're supposed to keep? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the computer manual would be useful but we haven't got space for it. Let's get rid of uh, a can. Get rid of a can, have a computer manual. Our pockets are positively brimming now. They're overflowing with stuff. Uh, there is a thing just there and an Alamos personal terminal just there. Okay, so who does this belong to? Um, oh, Mr. Alamos. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure who you are, but let's have a look through your stuff. Okay, I've looked through the emails and I found something that might be quite useful. So I think Mr. Alamos, whose room we're in and whose computer we're on, was once the head of security around here or something like that anyway. And this kind of big long ranty email here is from the superintendent of the station. And the intriguing bit is right here. Why is it the same keycard for both the VR suite, top infirmary and my office? So using the one keycard, which I think we do have, I think we have the VR suite keycard, we can also get into the top infirmary and also his office. That could be quite useful. And yeah, he's saying, please replace the lock as soon as possible. Meanwhile, make sure it's only you who has this Skywalk backdoor keycard. It's my private bedroom as well. So I think we've got the VR room keycard and also we just picked up the Skywalk backdoor keycard. So I think we can possibly, if we can find the rooms, get into some very exciting secret places. I think that could be quite good. The bed is very empty, okay. But yeah, we picked that thing up, didn't we? There is a sort of suitcase there, but I thought we might be able to open it up, but we can't do that, it seems. Um, as a quick check, let's have a very quick nosy over here. I think that's just going to be outside. I'm fairly certain that's just, yeah, like an airlock type thing. Oh, hang on. But there's rooms along here. Hang on, what's in here? Is there anything handy here? Just more kind of storage stuff. Um, is there that thing that we're looking for? Is there that thing that we're looking for to repair the machine over there? Let's have a quick check. Okay, not over there there isn't, but there is another room over here. So maybe that's a storage area as well. I'm not quite sure. We shall go and check it out. Let's have a nosy through here. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know what that is. It looks exciting. Right, hang on. Have we got a roll of duct tape? A uh, flathead screwdriver, RC controller. There's loads of screwdrivers in here. And there is a workstation. Okay. What does the workstation do? Select operation mode. Construction. Can we make things? <gasps> we can make hairpins, electric cartridges, e-packs, shock mines. We haven't got the Cytex skill to make a repair kit, disposable plasma torch, or a remote interceptor. Oh, there's some very exciting things. Um... Hairpin. The thing is, I don't want to use this to make a hairpin and then the machine explode in flames or break or something. I think we leave that for now, but we at least know that that is an option. Okay, that's quite good. We've got a little kind of 3D printer type thingamajig. Um, okay, hang on. A small valve. What valve is that? Is that the valve that they need? Uh, no, it was a B something valve, wasn't it, they needed? And then there's like a... I don't know what that is. Like, it looks like it's a thing with a shovel on the front for, like, moving snow. But I don't imagine there's much snow out there. Um, okay, right. So we can't imagine there either. But there is loads and loads of junk and stuff over here. Loads of little sort of tools and things over there that we could possibly go and pick up if we need them somewhere else on the station. There is an elevator slash lift right there, which takes us to the top infirmary, which I think is a room that we can get into using our VR keycard thing. I think that was one of the three rooms that that card gives us access to, the VR room, the top infirmary, and the superintendent's office. That's what he was complaining about. So maybe, is it worth a quick look over here? Let's try not to get shot to death. Right, okay. So we're on, where are we? We're on another level of the station. Oh, hang on. That is, that's the superintendent's office. Okay, right. So, oh yeah, there's an elevator over there, wasn't there? Yes, okay. Right, so here we are in this bit. We've got a space suit on, so we can walk around on this top bit. I don't think it looks overly jolly to walk around. It looks a little bit kind of desolate and broken, but okay. So, um, right, what's in here? Doctor's computer. Have we got repair parts? for that thing, for the thing downstairs, the medical computer that Santa would like to use. Uh, doctor's computer, oh no. We're going to computer, don't explode. Um, oh, there's loads of other stuff. Okay, so let's have a look through the notes. Are there many notes? Um, uh, okay, right, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to uh, go and sort of uh, leaf through. So let me go and have a look at what's going on. What are all these things, games and experiments and everything else? What's happening over here on this computer? Okay, we have a chance to maybe try to understand how to make some sort of homemade anaesthetic. That might be quite handy, I suppose. So we have to do a Cytec check to check the doctor's notes. Do you know what? It's worth a go. Is it going to work? It really isn't going to work. It miserably, miserably failed, and we can't understand it because, again, we failed to roll quite well. Okay, never mind. Right, so that kind of ruled that out. Um, I think 
that was the only thing coming out of the notes there. He, he learned about a game and VR was quite an escape for him and all that kind of stuff. But there we go. So that was all from the notes. Um, email. Oh, there's a few here as well. Another auto... Oh, hang on. Another auto med malfunction. Okay. So basically you're saying, yeah, it's broken. When are you going to fix it? And then... As I explained to you last week, the actuator stabilizer is broken and there is nothing we can do until the replacement part arrives. Now there's some hope that it's in the most recent shipment, at least a cargo manifest says so. I'll check the West Spaceport cargo storage, fingers crossed, it's in one of the boxes. Actuator stabilizer, West Spaceport cargo storage. Okay, maybe it's there then. Actuator stabilizer. Let's go and look for one of those, shall we? Let's go and have a little look. Um, I mean, West would imply... Over there, that would imply over here somewhere, wouldn't it? If this is, if the spaceship, the, the station is sort of, you know, pointing north, south, east, west, it would imply it's over there. And while we're here, we'll grab all the meds from the shells because they don't weigh anything. Well, the painkillers do weigh something. They do weigh something. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't. But the painkillers do. It would be handy if we did have those. Um, let's get rid of, um... Who knows? A burnt circuit breaker. Get rid of one of those and take some paint. Ah, the burnt circuit breaker weighs nothing as well. Okay, uh, get rid of some junk and carry some painkillers because they might be handy. Um, and anything in there, there's that thing there. Don't know what it does, but I suspect we might be able to sell those or something possibly. I'm not quite sure. There is a safe there as well. Can we pick that lock? Can we give it a go? We might have unrealistic chances. If we flute the dice roll, no. Plus and a minus, it's a two. Never mind, not to worry, one hairpin down. But yeah, that's that's sort of okay. That's sort of okay. We're terrible at that kind of thing anyway. Um, okay, so let's pop over to the west sort of storage area, which I thought we'd been to already. I thought it was over there. And look for the actuator stabilizer thing again. Maybe now that we know it's over there, it will have appeared over here in the inventory. Possibly it's going to appear in one of these boxes. Now we've kind of revealed itself from over here. So let's go have a quick check, shall we? Let's go and have a little look. Okay, I can't find it in there or down here. So maybe it's either been moved or it didn't arrive or whatever. I'm not sure. The only thing I can think of is that maybe it's down those stairs. So if we just have a little nosy down here, is there another storage thing somewhere else? No, it's another room down here. Big, some sort of, I don't know, bunk room, dormitory type thing. But I don't think that looks like a storage thing. That's a bit of a bother. Black hole cola, crikey. Okay, what we'll do is we'll pop back up the stairs for now. And I think for the moment we will wrap things up. We'll finish things up for the moment. But uh, yeah, we have got a couple of jobs to do. We have got a couple of important things to do. We do need to repair that automed thing. I think if we let Santa use that thing without it being repaired, it's going to kill her to death in a very unpleasant way. It's going to go wrong, isn't it? And she's going to be dead. And already we've let one person die, so we can't let another person die. So we'll try and fix that as best we can. I'm not quite sure where the part is, but we'll try and find it, because that'd be good. And then also over there, look, there is the elevator up to the superintendent's office that I think is over in that room there. Some sort of like a boardroom, was it, or a meeting room? So pop into there and go up into the superintendent's office that could be quite good. Have a little look around in there, maybe find some useful things, bits and bobs. And then for the other person we're with, for I've forgotten your name, what are you called? I've forgotten who you are. Please, please reveal yourself. You're Santa and, oh no, they're Ingrid. That's us. Uh, Ingrid, uh, we have to go and find the security room for her, which I imagine is going to be, if there's a medical room on that corner and a superintendent room over there, maybe that elevator takes you up to the security room and is there another elevator over there? That's the VR suite. So possibly we should check out all those as well. We'll kind of have a little look around and see what we can find up in those elevators as well. But uh, yeah, we do need to find the security room at some point and have a little look around in there. Try and find what she needs and then we can get fuel and that completes one of our goals. And it would be good next time if we could level up. I think it'd be quite good if we could get ourselves a level, get enough XP. Is it another... What was it? Seven, was it? Yeah, another seven XP. So I think complete one more little kind of mission thing and then we might be able to level up. We might be able to get to the heady, heady heights of level two and then we'll see what happens with that. 
we'll see what sort of lovely treats we get. Do we get some more kind of attributes or skill points or whatever? We will find out when we level up. So we'll finish up for now, come back next time and just keep on doing what we've been doing and just you know try to stay out of combat. We did pretty well ourselves a little bit in combat, which was quite good. But uh, yeah, we'll try and stay out of combat and just explore a bit more and try to solve a few more mysteries around here. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Space Wreck. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Look at Swain's hat. Oh, it's worth it just for the hat. Oh, it's so pointy. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right, we might have to deploy the decency mugs there. <laughs> Things are going to get a bit weird, everybody. Book yourselves in. I am in the throes of ecstasy, aided by a shoe. He's kept his hat on. <laughs>